Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at how to wire a control transformer with multiple input and output voltages. The transformer we have here is considered a step down transformer, which just means that the output voltage is lower than the input voltage. So now we'll just go over the nameplate. On our primary side, or our input side, we have two options. We got 240 volts and 480 volts. Now to achieve 240 volts, we got to add jumpers in here. These lines indicate jumpers, 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. If we want to do 480 volts, we got to insert a jumper between 3 and 2. Once we put our jumpers in, we then can connect our power, which is these lines here. And for both voltages, they're connected at 1 and 4. Now when it comes to our secondary side, it's pretty much the same thing as the primary side. To get 12 volts, we got to put our jumpers in between 4 and 2, and 3 and 1. And to get our 24 volts, we got to put our jumpers in between 2 and 3. Uh, for our connection points, for our output, it's the same as the uh, primary side. It's 4 and 1, and 4 and 1. So just to be clear and there's no confusion, these numbers, the order of them, line up with the screws. So 4, 2, 3, 1 is 4, 2, 3, 1. Over here on the secondary side, same thing, 4, 2, 3, 1. Now it's time that we can add our jumpers in and connect our 240 volts. So now that everything's connected on our primary side, our jumpers and our input voltage, before we turn the power on, we'll set up our secondary side for 12 volts. Now we're ready to turn our power on and test out our voltages. We'll start by testing our primary side to make sure we have the proper incoming voltage. We have 243, 44 volts, which is good. Now on our secondary side, we should get around 12 volts at these two points. We got 13.12, which is pretty good. Now we're going to change our taps on our secondary side so we can get 24 volts. Make sure you shut off your power before you do this. And before we do, we'll test that our power is off, which it is, and we'll change our taps. Now that our 24 volt tap is in place, we can turn the power back on and test out our voltages. Again, we'll test our primary just to make sure we have the proper incoming voltage. It's good. And now to test for our 24 volts, the same points as the 12 volts. So there you have it guys. Hopefully that video simplified things. And you found what you are looking for. If you do have a topic you'd like covered under the home electrical department, please leave in the comments and we will do our best to